Okay, so in this example, I'm going to show you how to create a less than and greater than cumulative frequency uh, table and graph as well. Okay, let's start off with the less than. Okay, so for less than, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my table. Okay, for the x values of my table, I'm always going to pick this first row of of the first column of numbers in my interval column. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. But I'm always going to end with my highest number in the interval. So I will end with 11. Okay, the next column that I'm going to have is my cumulative frequency. In this case, it always starts off at 0. Then I constantly add numbers from my frequency table. So 0 plus 7 equals to 7. The next one will be 7 plus 6, which is 13. Next one is 13 plus 5, which is 18. Next one is 18 plus 4, which is 22. The last one is 22 plus 2, which is 24. Okay, my ending number here should always be my total of my frequency table as well. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to do your percentage column. Okay, and remember percentages and how we calculated them. We want to take each number, we want to divide it by the total and multiply that by 100. So 0 divided by 24 times 100 is 0. 7 divided by 24 times 100 is 29% 13 divided by 24 times 100 is 54% 75% and 92% and then we have 100% Okay, so that's our less than table. What we can do next is do our greater than table. So again, our first column x is literally the same. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Second column, which is the cumulative frequency. In this case, for a greater than table, your cumulative frequency starts the biggest number so 24 my next one will be 24 minus 7 which is 17 next one will be 17 minus 6 which is 11 next one is 11 minus 5 which is 6 6 minus 4 which is 2 then 2 minus 2, which is 0, and your greater than table should always end at 0. Okay, last we are going to convert these numbers here to percentages. So we know our starting percentage is 100. Next, I'm going to do 17 divided by 24 times 100 is 71%. Twenty-six percent, twenty-five percent, then nine percent, oops, and zero percent. Oh, sorry, that's 8%, not 9. Okay, once we get our values here, we can draw them on our graph. So I'm going to make our graph right here. Remember, our x values in both tables are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So you're going to go 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. And then our x values go from 0 to 100 because they are always percentages on the y value.
plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And last year, I'm going to draw these out. So I know my first one is 1, 29. Oh no, it was 1, 0, 3, 29. 5, 54. 7, 75. 9, 92. And 11, 100. Okay, and then I'm going to connect those lines. Like that. And then I'm going to do the greater than table. So it was 1, 100, 371, 5, 46, 7, 25, 9, 8, and 0, 11, 0. And that is your cumulative frequency less than and greater than graph.